everyone, it's Lori from Scraps by Sissy. Welcome to my first set of tutorials. This set of tutorials is going to be on Card Making 101. I have several friends who have not had a chance to dip their toe in the water, so this is going to be step by step on how to take an 8.5 by 11 piece of cardstock and turn it into a card. The first card we're going to make is this birthday card. Very simple, very easy. And then I'm going to also show you how to take that same card and glam it up a little bit. Everybody needs more bling in their life. So sit back and enjoy the tutorials. Okay, so let's get started on this. For a new crafter, one of the things you're going to need is a brand new paper trimmer or a paper trimmer. This is the one from Stampin' Up. I like it for a couple of reasons, one of which is it has this wide base, goes up to six inches, makes your measuring for trimming your cardstock down a lot easier with you being able to see right to the edge of the paper. The other thing I like is the fact that the numbers are under clear plastic, they aren't going to rub off, and it has this swing arm that goes out to 14 inches. Let's see here. So for those of us that like to scrapbook, it's easy to trim your 12 by 12 paper down. So you're going to take your 8.5 by 11 inch piece of cardstock and you're going to lay it horizontally, put it underneath the swing arm, and put the left edge right to 5.5. Then I like to come up from the bottom of the trimmer, just run it up, set that piece aside for later, rotate your card base and put the left edge to four and a quarter. That is your middle of your piece of paper, piece of cardstock. Then you're just going to score. You see the paper trimmer has not only the cutting tool but it also has a scoring tool and it makes it easier to fold your piece of cardstock. You can see the little, uh, there we go, you can see the line right down the middle. So we'll set that aside. You want to fold your piece of cardstock in half. We'll set that aside. The next pieces that I have, I have a four and a quarter by three and a quarter piece of basic black cardstock. This is called Melon Mambo. One nice thing about Stampin' Up! is they come up with these really cool names. We have coordinating items that go with each color that we have. Like Melon Mambo cardstock, we have a Melon Mambo Stampin' Write marker, we have Melon Mambo ink. So anything that you purchase, you know that they're going to be able to coordinate all your items for you. The next piece of cardstock we have is Whisper White. We've cut this at 3 by 4 and what happens is when we get done stamping we will layer this onto the basic black to make a mat to go onto the card. Okay, so we'll set that aside. For this card, we're using a stamp set called Better Together. This is one of the new ones in the catalog that came out June 1st. This is good from June 1st, 2016 to May 31st, 2017. Everything that we'll be using, you can find in here. If you don't have your catalog, you can contact me at lori at scrapsbysissy.com and I will get one out to you. This stamp set's really good for a beginner because not only does it have the outside sentiment, it also has the inside. We're going to be using this happy birthday and this birthday hat. I already have the stamps mounted. These are what are called clear mount stamps and this is your clear block. So we'll take our piece of Whisper White and we're going to use our basic black ink. Now these ink pads are made so that you can stick your thumb underneath this little tab and you're going to push, flip it over, and it locks into place. So ink up our stamp and we're going to stamp it. See the nice thing about our grid paper that we sell is you can line your paper up and know exactly where you can stamp at and make it straight. So you want to push your stamp down and bring it straight up. 
Another item that's good to have is a stamp cleaner and a scrub. This is the stamp and scrub, stamp mist. You just kind of spritz a little bit on there. You can just rub your stamp on it. You see that it cleans it all up nice and neat. And then you rub it on the other side to dry it. Okay, so now we're gonna stamp the birthday hat. Again, set the cardstock down. You want to stamp down, straight up. Now, done with the black ink. I'm going to take our stamp and write marker. There, it comes with two ends. It has this end to write with, and this end is to color with. Now, you want to use a light pressure because you don't want to smush the end. And then you're just going to come in and color the dots. And hopefully you'll color a little bit neater than me. Now remember, you don't have to be perfect. If people wanted perfect, they'd buy the card at the store. Okay. Now, there's two different types of adhesive that Stampin' Up! sells for the runners. There is a snail. This has got a lighter um, adhesive to it. And then there's Fast Fuse. Both of these come as cartridges. So once you buy the main body, you'll just have to buy refills for it. Okay, I'm going to use the snail. You're going to just run a piece of adhesive down the back side of the card and then we we'll get our black piece center that flip it over oh, I might be getting low here and then tape it on your card and there's your first birthday card Thanks for stopping by, and the next tutorial will show you how to glam up your birthday card.